let's look at two more definitions here. The first one is the stabilizer of point. So we start with a group of permutations. You take an element of S and you look at which ones of those permutations don't affect that particular element of S. Now, don't affect it might be a little bit too strong, but in the end, that permutation maps it to itself. We're going to call that the stabilizer of that element in G and use the notation stab G of I. Now, the big thing to realize is that this is a set of permutations. In fact, it will be a subgroup of the group of permutations we start with. The other thing we've got is the orbit of a point. We're going to start out very much the same. We start with a group of permutations for each element in the, in the set. Then, we're going to say the orbit is everything that that element gets mapped to under the permutations. So specifically, this is a subset of S. The stabilizer is a set of permutations, a subset of G. The orbit is a subset of S, a subset of the set of things that are being affected by the permutations. These are confusing, so Let's take a look at an example. So I'm going to set my group G to be the group, the identity, of course. Then we're going to put in 174258. We're going to put in 147285. We're going to put in those two things, 1, 7, 4, 2, 5, 8 times 3, 6. We're going to put in 1, 4, 7, 2, 8, 5 and times 3, 6. And then lastly, we're going to put in 3, 6. That is a subgroup. I'll leave it to you to verify. <coughs> to verify that. Okay, so these things act on the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the things I can find the stabilizer in orbit of are those elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what is the stabilizer of 1 in that set? So we're trying to find, out of these permutations, out of these group elements in G, which ones keep one fixed? Well, this one, this one, this one, and this one, all the middle four, all are affecting one. But this first one, even though it's listed as that, that's a one cycle, that's really the identity, that certainly leaves one fixed. And then here, 3, 6, that doesn't affect 1. So that's the stabilizer in G of 1. Let's try another one. What is the stabilizer in G of 6? The identity is certainly in there. That 1, 7, 4, 2, 5, 8. That doesn't affect 6. 1, 4, 7, 2, 8, 5. That doesn't affect 6. But this one does, this one does, this one does. Okay, that's the stabilizer. Now what about the orbits? So what is the orbit in G of 1? So what we do is we take every element of G, we apply it to 1, and see where 1 ends up under those permutations. So certainly under the identity, 1 ends up on 1. 
under 174258, one ends up at 7. Under 147285, one ends up at 4. Here, one ends up at 7. Here, one ends up at 4. Here, one isn't affected, so one ends up at 1. The orbit in G of 6, the identity maps it to 6. This maps it to 6. This maps it to 6. This maps 6 to 3. This maps 6 to 3. This maps 6 to 3. Again, the stabilizers are permutations. The stabilizer is a subset of G. The orbit is a subset of the things that are being permuted. One final theorem that I'm not going to prove is that for, if we have one of these things, then for any i in your set of things being permuted, the order of your group has to equal the order of the orbit times the order of the stabilizer. So looking back at what we just did, if we look at 1, the order of the stabilizer in G of 1 is 2, the order of the orbit in G of 1 is 3, and the order of G, there were six things in there, six permutations. If I do the same thing for 6, it's still going to be 2 times 3, but in the other order. The stabilizer of 6, there were three things that kept 6 fixed. There were two different places that G that 6 mapped to. 3 times 2, again, gives us the order of the group, which is 6.